When you first open your Magaya system, you may wonder where to start. Hi, I'm George, and I'm going to walk you through the menus and toolbars so you can navigate the system like a pro. Let's start with the toolbar at the top of the software and work our way across it. Related functions are grouped together. For example, the buying and selling functions are together here in our supply chain solution. The cargo system starts with warehouse-related functions such as picking up cargo, receiving it, and then releasing cargo for local deliveries. The air, ocean, and ground buttons are grouped together here for easy access when creating shipments. Look at how the buttons work. When you click the arrow, you get a drop-down menu of options. See that the first option is bold? That means when clicking the button itself, that first option will open directly. The Find button gives you many search options, such as searching by transaction type or number, by date range, or search for any text in a document. Use Network and Send to send a transaction to a branch office or partner who has Magaya. Here are buttons to create tasks, send emails, and print documents. The Sidebar button will hide or show the list of folders on the left. On the far right is your network ID number, software version, and date. The green icon means your system is connected. If you contact support, they will ask you for this information. Let's look at one more thing at the top before we move on. See these operation names here above the buttons? This is another way we've grouped functions together to make it easy to find related operations. Start with File. Different options are available when you're viewing different functions. Here, you can edit your company information, use the startup wizards, or get new document templates. The permissions and printing functions are available when you view documents and lists. For example, you can set employee permissions per folder or at the transaction level. The sales menu in the supply chain solution groups all the main function your commercial team will need to quote, book, and sell freight or inventory. The operations button groups warehousing operations and more. Explore the others, especially maintenance, reports, and options. Now let's get into the documents and lists to learn how to navigate those toolbars. We know how important documents are, so let's dive in. Go to a transaction in your left menu. This toolbar lets you manage your documents. Use the Add button to create a new transaction. Click Edit to edit the document you are in. Need to see more in a dialog box? Here's a tip. Widen it here. If you want to delete a transaction, click the Delete button. By the way, you can see changes made to your transactions and the employees that made them by going to Options and selecting View Transactions Log. Click the Actions button to see even more features for you and your team. Here you can copy the document, add your transaction to a job, view attachments, and more. The Find button is for finding a transaction by type and transaction number. Finally, use these arrows to navigate between transactions in your system. While you can filter transactions from the document toolbar, filtering is easier when you can see all your transactions from the list view. Speaking of lists, let's look at the list toolbar. The Go To Document button takes you to the document view of a transaction in your list. Select the transaction, then click this button. Or right-click the transaction and select Go To Document. The list toolbar also lets you add, edit, and delete transactions. Like the document toolbar, the Actions button provides more functions for managing your transactions. The difference is that you can run these functions for many transactions at a time in the list view. We finally arrive at the Filter button. Magaya provides a standard filter and an advanced filter if you need a more intensive search. The fields in the Dates section let you filter transactions by date. Okay. Now, here's the best part about filtering. Use this button to the right to save your filtered list view with a unique name. This makes it easier to share lists with your partners and export what you filtered to customers. Magaya lets you save many list views. Use the drop-down field to access views you've saved. From lists, let's jump into reports. In addition to the main reports menu on the top of the software, did you know you can also run reports in any list by right-clicking a transaction or by clicking the Actions button? Let's see. Running a report will bring you to the Reports toolbar. The Reports toolbar helps you configure your report, save it, filter items in the report, or select a date range. 
You can also print your report, save it as a PDF file, and export it to your computer. Now you're becoming a pro at navigating Magaya. Let's make our final stop at the shipment toolbar. Now we'll show you the last topic in this video, the shipment toolbar. You will learn a lot about this toolbar when you're creating and working with shipments. So this will just give you a quick overview to show you where all the main functions are. To access this toolbar, go to any shipment operation in your system. The master button takes you to the shipment master. Use the houses button to add houses to your shipment. As a reminder, arrows next to each button offer more options. There is also a document button for adding shipment documents such as bills of lading and air waybills to master shipments and houses. Functions related to accounting and transactions are grouped here. Use the insurance button to purchase insurance for your shipment. The customs button lets you send shipments to customs directly from your system. For example, from the customs button, you can open the inbound portal. This is a service that lets you send your bonded shipments directly to customs. See our knowledge base for more on customs features and cargo insurance. The last two buttons on the shipment toolbar are commodities and actions. They provide additional options for managing your packing list and configuring your shipment, so be sure to explore them. There is one more thing I want to cover before I let you go that plays a major role in managing your cargo. The cargo toolbar provides many options for working with your shipment, such as loading, unloading, and repacking the commodities. If there are packed commodities that you want to remove from a container, click the Unpack button. You can also edit your commodities with the Edit button. Click the Load button to load existing items from a warehouse location, warehouse receipt, or other transaction. In contrast, the Add button gives you the option to add commodities to your shipment that don't appear anywhere else in your system. This gives you the flexibility to make last minute changes. Did you know you can resize the panels? Simply drag the panel to make it larger. That's it for this video. See our other videos and the knowledge base for more on system features. Thanks for watching.